Hi Aquarius, thank you so much for joining me today on my YouTube channel. My name is Heather. So this reading is for the Sun Moon Rising sign of Aquarius and it is a general reading which means that the messages may or may not resonate for each of you. Be sure to check out your Moon and Rising sign readings. If you enjoy the reading be sure to like, share and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate that. We'll take that. And let's see what energies are out there for Aquarius. Okay, so we have the Two of Cups that came out, and it is crossed by the Five of Wands. You have the Queen of Swords, the Page of Coins, you've got the Six of Swords, the Three of Swords, you've got the Six of Wands, the Six of Cups, you've got three Sixes already, you have Temperance, and you have the King of Coins. Okay, so Aquarius. Okay. So it looks like with you having six, three sixes here in this reading, it does look like the month of November for you, Aquarius. A big theme for you is really about stability here and finding stability. You even have temperance in here too. Okay, so... Aquarius, you have the, the overall energy for you in the month of November is the Two of Cups here. So for some of you, this can be a romantic, um, a, a month about romance here. Uh, it can be about partnerships. It can be, so I mean, then usually, you know, we think of relationships that with partnerships, but it can also be about uh, your business partnerships as well. So for some of you, this will not be about romance, family, it will be more about your career and money. But this uh, also can represent a proposal or a marriage too, or even that next stage in a relationship. So uh, buying a home together, getting or having, talking about having children, so that kind of an energy. So I do like that. However, it is being crossed by the Five of Wands here. And Five of Wands is a card about really that, that um, rivalry, challenge, obstacles, that going in circles. And you can even see in this card here, I'll try and hold it up. Hopefully it's not reflecting on it too much. You can see all these men are holding up these wands and they're kind of in a circle going at each other. So. What I'm seeing here with this is that there's a bit of a scattered energy. For, so if for some of you, if you are thinking about that next stage in a, in a relationship, if you're partnered and you want to move into the next stage, I feel like there's a little bit of a disconnect between you and your partner. Um, there's that scattered energy of just not being on the same page or perhaps even you want to go in too many different in too many directions right now with your relationship. So you're talking about that next stage, possibly having kids or possibly getting married or moving in together, but also about buying a home. So like you have all these different things on the table and you can't focus properly on one because there's too many things. And that's what I mean by that scattered energy. So even if the two of you are on the same page, it can also be or in the same place and want to go in the same direction. I feel like many of you have too many things up in the air that you want to do versus focusing on one, achieving that, and then moving on to the next. So a big theme for you really is about strategizing. And you do have the Queen of Swords here in your foundation. So it does also look like Aquarius that you're going to be planning. You're going to be in your head here and you're going to be planning and and making plans to move forward in a relationship in some way. And again, so for some of you, this is about business. So this can be a business partnership and you strategizing contracts, writing a contract and making those kinds of plans here. You also have the page of coins and this can represent a new opportunity or money news for some of you. So if you are, you and your partner are looking at and buying a property together, investing together, that kind of thing, there could have been money news coming in related to a loan. Uh, but for some of you, this could have been a job opportunity that came in and that could have created some changes in the relationship dynamic as well. And that could be where that, that scattered energy is coming from. You do have the Six of Swords here in your present position throughout the month of November here. 
and this tells me that you um, that there's a transition going on for you so for some of you you could actually be moving and this could be where that scattered energy and that next stage and step is also coming in so perhaps for some of you you may have received a job offer offer or opportunity but you might have to relocate or travel for it and that's where this this five of wands energy is coming in and now you need to create a good plan of what it is that we're going to do are we going to move are we going to rent are we going to buy so that kind of energy here uh, for others of you this is just going from you know making a change so your life becomes more stable and situated and it's just less turbulent here you do have the three of swords here this is in a future position so this is now to three months from now energy so i feel like for some of you this is it can play a couple of ways uh, for some of you i i feel like this is you are moving and um, this is that that sense of loss that you get and disappointment of like leaving people behind because you have to move to a new area or environment uh, but for others of you, this can represent a change in a relationship. So a relationship could be ending for some of you here. Um, or even if this was a job opportunity, perhaps it's not working out the way you wanted it to. And you're going to have to release that and let that go in the month of November. Your energy, though, so this represents yourself, is the Six of Wands. And this is a card of victory and recognition and good news and success coming in. So whatever this loss is, I don't think it's directly for you, Aquarius. I think this is around you. This is an energy that's around you. And again, for many of you, I feel like this is a, you're, you're with the card of transition, that six of swords and moving on and moving away from something. Um, I feel like that's related to this loss here. So whether or not you're physically moving, perhaps you've changed jobs, changed your location, and that's where that loss is coming in because you do have a lot of success and this is related to you specifically. This is a card of yourself um, and you being recognized for all your achievements and successes. So I do like seeing that there. And this could just even be re success in... Um, in this Two of Cups energy and overcoming this Five of Wands. You also have the Six of Cups in the environment around you or a situation, and this is a card of nostalgia. So this is you really, um, family reunions, thinking about the past, thinking about family members and that energy. So again, I'm really getting the strong feeling for many of you that you actually are moving or relocating or something like that or someone around you. If it's not you specifically, it's someone that you're really close to is moving away and it's going to give you those pangs. Well, one, you're going to feel that loss, but you're also getting those pangs of nostalgia and like missing them and wanting to reach out to them and connect with them. In your hopes and fears, you do have temperance. I do like seeing this here because this is telling me that um, the, the fear is a lack of balance and a lack of harmony in your life and stability. But because you have all these sixes, and this seems to be a key focus for you in the month of November, building stability, Aquarius, I feel like that is what's also coming. That's what you're hoping for. And that's what you're going to be achieving because you do have, have as a final outcome card, the King of Coins coins that earth energy kings and queens are masters of the element of their suit this is a king so he's mastered that energy of the coins which is all about stability practicality hard work effort um, being um, resourceful reliable having patience to see something through to the very end and this is that now to two years from now energy and this is like you really owning it and taking being accountable and taking ownership and leadership of creating a stable life for yourself, Aquarius. And that's what you're doing and that's what you're going to be achieving. So I do like seeing it. So any worry, any of this, the setbacks, I mean change, you are going through some changes and you, I see that initiating in the month of November. And change does bring that sense of loss, sense of grief. I mean, you know, we mourn the old what we had to let go to change, but then it's also recognizing all the benefits that we've gained through making those changes. And that's where we find that balance, Aquarius. 
Okay, so an Archangel Power Tarot card for you is, you have the King of Raphael. So yes, it is safe for you to trust Aquarius. You have the ability to accomplish many things at once. Follow your creative passions. And that is the message for you. And I'm now going to pull an Animal Speak rune. And we have, for Aquarius, we have the Coyote, which is balance. Yes, that's stability balance that is definitely um major theme for you <laughs> in the month of november aquarius so coyote is often considered a teacher and keeper of magic the coyote reminds us of our many possibilities if coyote has shown up for you remember that you are at a crossroads and the decisions you make now are very important it is time to trust in what is right for you aquarius the coyote teaches the balance of wisdom and folly and how they both must go hand in hand. The most successful people are those who learn to have fun at their work. These people maintain a simple trust in the fact that all things happen according to some plan and that if, and even if that plan is not entirely known. If coyote has come into your territory, it is time to find a balance between work and play. You have much more power and control over your life and the decisions within within it than you realize be flexible laugh and choose what is best for you even if it seems the most difficult thing to do the coyote howls to let us know that whatever your decision or choice it won't be as difficult as you imagine so that is your final message aquarius i hope you enjoyed the reading be sure to like, share, subscribe, and I will see you next month for the December readings. Stay safe and take care.